used to fly won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal pots about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pin code, 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 pin code,
One. To us? To fly! Space Brothers in Arms? What? Any minute now? We'll all be darned. Are you ready for contact with alien civilizations? The Earth welcomes you, dear visitor, who plowed at a great hurtling speed through boundless space to extend a friend of handship to our planet. We have it's long so waited small. for your visit. Prepare Perhaps for we're it for all some too time. big. Our expectations yeah. have all Looks been like a tadpole. Barry! How uncultured. And I ask you to accept this gift as a sign of our readiness for contact out of the goodness, as they say, of our hearts. He respects traditions. And now for the cultural part of our program. This is a green planet. This is winter. This is summer. This is a tasty little coat. This is a poem about love. This is a shovel. This is a brooch. And a few more poems. An automotive carburetor. This is the favorite carrot. These are dumbbells for exercise. These are weed and garden beds. This is a puzzle. Hide and seek. This is a creative rush. It's a diesel fuel engine. It's a these are my glasses in a case. This is a black Casanova. These are piano passages. These are real landscapes. These are boats of fuselages. This is so. And this is la. This is a bicycle bell. This is a book called Elocution. This is a green planet. This, this is a favorite. This is a Tell me, my friend, whether you are authorized to choose a worthy Earthling for a return trip to your planet. Dibs, I'll go on a social visit. Fly away on a spaceship. Hmm, Crash, certainly your application is more than worthy. But in my opinion, the one who should go should be... The most beautiful. He must be the most beautiful. Or she. Nine. Contact between civilizations is primarily an exchange of achievements in the area of technical progress. Uh-huh. I'll go and learn about their agricultural achievements. <laughs> As a matter of fact, uh, I wouldn't mind either. But it's very dangerous. An airless spaceship G-forces, I mean. <laughs> Only someone very well prepared could withstand such an experience. <clears throat> I'm, I'm all right where I am, and weightlessness makes my horns itch. And nevertheless, I believe that I would be the best candidate. <laughs> Why is that exactly? Well, I don't My friends, why are you torturing this unfortunate creature? That's it. We're starting an interplanetary conflict. And... <laughs> oh, uh. 
And nevertheless, my friends, allow me to ask, why are you torturing this poor frog? Uh, uh, a frog? But what about aliens? Visitors? How about your space radio? Didn't it work? Oh, I see you've been, as they say, caught up in this topic. I should note that sending a radio impulse to other civilizations is not the only way to search for fellow intelligent life forms. It is possible to investigate planets which move around the stars similar to our sun and at the same distance as Earth. They are about 150 million kilometers away. If the star's radiation is greater than the sun's, then life becomes possible at greater distances from it and vice versa. For example, if radiation from the star is more than the sun's by a factor of four, then mortal life becomes possible at a distance from the star of 300 million kilometers. Unfortunately, unexplored planets of this kind are very far from us, and it is almost impossible to see them in a telescope. Therefore, we can only guess about their existence from their brightness. A planet rotates around a star and hides a part of its radiation from the astronomer. If we periodically record the reduction of the star's brightness, then it is possible to calculate the period of the planet's rotation and its relative size. Then we calculate the mass of the star and distance to it in order to understand whether life is possible on that planet. It's estimated that in our galaxy, life could exist on approximately 11 billion planets. And, and if we have fellow intelligent space brothers in arms, then our radio signal will only reach them after many, many years. Is something wrong? Uh, and there you have the story. <laughs> Contact between civilizations, space brothers in arms. My friend, you don't listen to me at all. Did you see that? But that's... Phenomenal!